Welcome back to the third quarter of the Blitz. We move to some two-way action. The Ropes Eagles, they're hosting Crosbyton. Number six, Tyler Gilliam, he sacks and fumbles the ball. It's recovered by R.J. Madrano. And then the other way, Gilliam's going to just throw this one away. Crosbyton, they're really just trying to keep this Ropes offense in check, who's been scoring a lot this season. They're moving up to 11 men for the first time since 1999. But they do get going the other way. Gilliam's going to throw a 21-yard touchdown pass to Bronson Putman for the touchdown. 13 to eight, Ropes goes up. They end up pulling away in this one. 28 to 16, Ropes still feeling good, hanging into district now, four and one. The Rawls Jackrabbits, they're hosting the new home Leopards. Jackrabbits, they hand the ball off to Sergio Salinas. He takes it into the end zone. He's on the edge of just making in, but he's easily in for the touchdown. Eight to nothing right there. Now the Leopards, they're trying to answer back but the ball is going to be knocked loose, and it's recovered by Rhino Garcia of Rawls. Rhino, not a nickname, his actual name. They're going to take that ball back, but Rawls, they can't, they cannot move the ball down the field. They end up punting this one away after the handoff gets nothing going. Rawls wins it, though, and convincingly over New Home, 46 to 15, your final. Now we have a few other scores for you. Seagraves, they beat Roscoe 32 to 6, while Sudan beats Plains, another convincing one, 46 to 14. Olton, they beat Smyre 54 to 28, and Lockney, no surprise there, the, the Longhorns still undefeated, beating Memphis 51 to 22. Petersburg now, they're hosting the number three Motley County Matadors. Remember Motley County, they were in the state championship a year ago. 13 to eight, Buffalo's start on the second quarter. They're gonna fumble the ball, it's recovered. Motley County, not really getting a whole lot going in this game, and it's 46 to 20. They beat Petersburg in this one. Motley County trying to get back to that state championship game. Still a long way to go, but looking good so far. Morton, they're actually canceled with Spring Lake Earth, so no final score for that game. We move on. Number 10, Happy. They put a beat down on Meta, 54 to 0. Wellman Union, 68. Loop, 45. Very convincing win there. Spur beats Whiteface, 48 to 0. Anton. Winning by 50, another great game for them, beating Paducah 56 to 6. Wilson beats Cotton Center 57 to 12. And Laz Buddy over Crest 48 to 20, 28, I should say, to 22. A top 10 matchup. Klondike, though, looks really good, beating number 10 Whit Harrell 74 to 28. And Jayton, they beat Roby, they're the, the number five team for a reason. They blanked them 48 to 0. And finally, Sands and Southland, another game, getting used to this year in 2020, that's canceled. The final quarter of the Blitz still to come. Some of our best teams in the area in action. The private schools, Lubbock Christian hosting Weatherford Christian. And then Kingdom Prep, they're hosting Abilene Christian All Saints against Wichita. We also have to take a look at 